I've been looking at my younger cousin's Facebook and I have to say I'm very proud of him. I'm a very proud older cousin. So I've got his back all the way. I'm sure he's got many people have his back, especially having Dino as his father. But uh, off. it doesn't hurt to have that extra impetus. So when you've not only got your father but, uh, having your back but me, then you're pretty much the most looked after kid in the country. And he's a very good kid. He's a very, very, very good kid. So you'll look at his... Uh, there are, everybody knows he's my cousin, so it's, there's nothing to hide. It's not like there's anything I could say that would make him... Uh, <laughs> not more secure, but it, it makes no fucking difference. Everybody knows who he is, uh, one way or another, in terms of relationship to me, my first cousin. But I'm going to say this. It, 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 you may look at his uh, pictures and think, oh, he looks like the typical brunt or brute, whatever. But it's it, absolutely false. I mean, you just have to even look at the way he speaks. He's very... He speaks like a gentleman. He speaks very kind. He's a, but that's not a front. He's a very, very, very good kid. Uh, I don't hang out with him as much as I, we used to. I mean, I, I certainly didn't see him all the time as a kid too. But I had a major influence in his upbringing because he. That was when my sister was growing up, and he was growing up, and I was in high school, in my early high school, and I, we were all proper family back then. Not that we aren't proper family now, but. Lunch every few days. Tina was always over, fucking nearly every day sometimes, uh, for years. And uh, so we would go for walks to the park, walks to Woolies, and my influence would naturally rub off on Chris. As a matter of fact, I, and he can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm 100% correct. I think it was me who made, not made, made's an incorrect word, influenced Chris into going into the fitness industry back when he was just finished his HSC. I believe I he, he wasn't sure about what to do. My advice was, mate, if you don't know what you want to do, just do this. I'm going to do it for you. You'll thank me one day. And if you change your mind, look, 60 to 80% of the population don't know what they want to do until they're fucking 40 or 50 these days. So you've got all the time in the world, mate. And I believe I registered his TAFE course. I did it on my laptop. And I think, I don't know what he did with that. I, so I, that's the thing. I, I, that's why I, I, I may be incorrect in saying it was me who influenced him. He may not have, have even done that course and done something else, but he may very well have pursued that. I did, never asked him, so... Uh, and, and that was the last time I saw him for a while. Uh, and we, we weren't even seeing each other much as a family then, but I had him register that course, and I think that was like six or seven years ago or something like that. About six or seven years ago. Uh, and uh, I think he did complete it. I, I think he did and he went on to do other things in the fitness industry and I think he's managing now and he's going really well in that industry and I think he loves it and good on him. He's a very, very, very well behaved kid. I mean, to, I don't say it because he's my younger cousin. I've got many other younger cousins and I don't like their attitude at all without naming any of them. <laughs> so if you ask me who the best cousin of them all in terms of attitude, character and behaviour, young Chris, he's absolutely deserves every accolade if all the attention in the world he's the kid you want to know he's a very very good kid very good hearted like his father unfortunately for Tina <laughs> uh, having a good heart sometimes worked against you because you, you let the other people's problems get to the better of you see Tina always fought for other people did stupid things growing up but he didn't care because he had such a big heart so he's a, he's a young type of kid he's a very very good kid whereas a lot of my younger cousins I, I sometimes question myself I think where the fuck do you come up with this shit from? What, how can you... They're not... A be to me, they're, they're... It's like... Not that they're not a Bella like It's just that they've... They're very weird. They're not... As I'd like to see them in terms of being respectful and, you know, part of the family. Whereas Chris... You, you, you have to be a cocksucker to dislike Chris. You have to be an absolute cocksucker. Everybody loves Chris. Oh, oh, interestingly enough, I think he has several Muslim friends. They love him. They know what kind of kid he is. And that's the... That's the kid that I, whose character rubbed off onto, my character. He always listened to me. He, fuck, is, growing up, he never listened to Dino. He, lived, he never listened to his dad. That's bad. He, he listened to me before none knew, before even his papa, uh, papu, he, he, uh, Peter. He listened to everybody. He listened to nobody but me before anybody. It was fucking classical. So I had a major influence on him. And he listened to his mother. Uh, that's one thing he did as well, listen to his mother all the time. Thank God. She's got... Uh, it's the right thing, <laughs> definitely the right thing, um, and uh, yeah, I, 
he's a he's a very good kid. So I think why I say this is because he's not the type that'll ever give up. He's not the type that'll ever give in or let uh, positive momentum make him complacent. So it's not like if he watches this and smiles or people start patting his back, that's it for him. He's he's a true abella. He will fucking rip at his training even harder. And that's what I like about him. I know he'll do that. I know this wouldn't turn him off what he's doing. And otherwise I wouldn't make this video. And no, I, I'm, I'm very proud of him. So I'm very, very proud of him. And I think his current trajectory, being an abella and the way the abella body grows, it's a little, a slot, it's definitely uh, quite divergent from Caucasian statistics that are made in places like our country. Uh, it, he won't develop fully until he's about 40 or 45. It's not like, it. see, Caucasian adults, in terms of the English scope of biology, it's 35-ish. But truly, our family doesn't develop fully till about the males, till about 40, 45, even 50-ish. We've got a longer lifespan, and that's pretty evident. And, you know, a lot of our family members who passed away at, in their 90s and 100s, uh, and that's an average. Uh, they live a long life. It's, it, so it's, it's very common. That's our genetic, our unique genetic abella trait. And I think... That on his current trajectory, he'll get Mr. Olympia. Now you might go, "What the fuck? Are you serious?" But he's re if I read right, he already won uh, some major competition, and he and if you look at his body, my God, it's he's massive, but it's not ugly massive. He's he's doing it correctly because he's he's got a handsome build. He's tall. He's a bit taller than me. He's probably about six foot six foot one. I could be wrong with six foot one. He could be six footish, six foot and half an inch he's about 185 centimeters they're about and but he's got it it's he's got that arnold schwarzenegger look and what's remarkable is that his body is actually traveling towards a much better uh, something modern something quite interesting i don't want to i will never dare challenge the arnold because he is the golden standard in weightlifting and uh, bodybuilding the world over but my cousin's traveling down a unique track that is quite remarkable because he's only 23 or 24 ish about that he's yeah now 20 24 now and he's wow if you look at his body fuck me dead it's it's not ugly it's i, I actually look at it and think you're the only bodybuilder that has a fucking that looks decent that has a good frame he looks very very good and i think with years ahead and proper shaping you know keeping up that proper, not looking like a beefcake, that he'll have that proportion that is absolutely, you know, gobsmacking, like, wow, that's a fucking body, and he has that, he absolutely has that, it's not fucking ugly or ridiculous, it's actually, I'm, I'm looking at his body and going, fuck yeah, that's the Avila body, he's got a good body, um, and I, I think he has what it takes to be, I don't know if an Australian has ever won Mr. Olympia, but he could do it. He definitely has the body to do it and the mentality. And he's a very, very good kid. He absolutely love him the world over. And I don't I don't I'm not biased when it comes to that. If you even if you're my own mother, or if you're my family member and I know there's something in you that's not right, I won't say stuff. I won't commend people like this. But he's a very good kid. So fucking looking at his fucking Instagram and all that, wow. Go son. Go. I remember all the walks we used to take, all the talking, all our conversations. He was a young kid. He was always smiling. He would look up to me, and he was only three, four, five. We'd take him to Woolies sometimes, and he'd, he was just always happy around me. And uh, well, naturally, I'd take my sister everywhere we would go because I was trying to mentor my little shit sister. Fuck, she was a naughty kid, but she was also very good, um, <laughs> like me. And uh, no, they were good times, so I'm glad he's turned out the way he has it makes me he should make us all proud and i you know I, I i shouldn't do it but i like to rub it in the face of our rebella family in malta because they all tried bodybuilding and uh this is my time to give it to big bob prime minister because he tried his heart out to get mr olympia but couldn't even come close to it i think he barely got mr malta but if you look at his pictures and you look at chris's pictures <laughs> Chris leaves him for dead. Chris makes him look like a toothpick, but he in a good way. He was good. Robert Robert's body was pretty good. It was fucking immaculate, nice, but not like Chris's. Fuck me, dead. 
and he turned out to become the Prime Minister. You never know what Chris... He might see my cousin Chris as Prime Minister one day. He'd be a good Prime Minister, my little cousin. I'd back him. Um, uh, he will be a Greek Maltese... Oh, I should say Maltese Greek because his father is Maltese. His name is Abela. So it will be a Maltese Greek Australian because Chris is half Greek. His mother's ancestry is fully Greek. And uh, so Maltese Greek Australian Prime Minister, how about that? And uh, but his body's definitely from us. There's absolutely no doubt about that. I mean, you have to if you look at the people in his family. They're athletic. I mean, they're not exactly small or anything like that. But you know, it's pretty clear where all the consistency comes from in terms of big body, strong build. You just have to look at every fucking one of us. Mum, Stephen, Tina, Nandu. But if I could say something to my cousin Chris, just never forget, no one, no person, is better than their mentor. No student is better than their master. And that's not him to me. That's the leader of our family in terms of physical physicality and that warrior mentality. It's our Nandu. Nandu is nearly 80, and he's perhaps not the same doesn't have the same tenacity he had when he was in his early 50s especially before just his back when he had the back operation in late 01 uh, he'd done his back in middle 2000 and he was never the same again in terms of his physicality so Chris would be shocked to know that I've watched his videos I've watched a lot of his stuff and I'm, st I'm still from what I've seen and I don't know if he's got some tricks up his sleeve but from what I've seen I think I've still got him by a long mile when it comes to brute strength so you know, your bench press, your squats. So, you, know, you, you can't get big enough, son, to get stronger than me. Nah, oh, he, he may very well outstrong, uh, outpower me one day. He's certainly doing heavy weights. I'm not saying he's weak. Fuck me, dead. I think I've still got him. But in any case, just remember our Nunnu. He's Nunnu just before his back operation. Unbelievable. The strength of that man. Unbelievable. Because I was a 10 year old around the time he done, just before he done his back. And Nandu and I were always like father and son. And he pretty much brutalized me even up to that age. And things changed dramatically after that operation. We didn't walk as much anymore. He couldn't, his back started to hurt. He was in his mid fifties. But just before that, even whilst he was 54, 55, with one hand, he, was, he could lift a 70 kilo, 80 kilo kid like I was a toothpick, he could crush me with it. None of strength is unlike anything I've ever seen of any man. I've rumbled blokes twice the size of me and made them look like you know, fairies. And they were strong men. And none knew would still be able to make me look like I made them. He was a strong man. <laughs> so we all get it from him. He was a strong fucking man, none knew. I, I'm still not as strong as him. In, when he was in his 50s. I may very well go there, because Nandu always said, and I don't mean to be big-headed, that out of all the kids, out of all of us, I look, I'm most like him. And he would always smile. He, he, I always reminded him of himself in some ways, because he knew that I had that tenacity, that sparkle in my eyes, that fucking abelliness. He just, he always said that. And he was right, because if you look at some of the things I do at the gym, it's not wrong. Um, but uh, no student's better than his master. So Chris, if you listen to this, you, I, we owe it to our Nandu. Nobody else. He's the master of our family when it comes to physicality. Uh, we, and it, uh, if Robert saw this as well, not only are we the bodybuilders and the strong people, they'd love to imagine themselves as that in Malta, but uh, we are the original soldier branch of the Abella family. Yes, the Abella family in Malta in ancient times, not ancient times, but in recent times too, had branches and we were all known for particular traits and we were the ones that were always in the military we are the ones such as Joe Abela yeah Joe Abela who was pretty much the uh, commencer the starter of the modern Maltese army when the British left it was all left up to him he was the one who put the Maltese army together from scratch so we are the you know that truly soldier military toughness that's why we've all got it and that's why young Chris Abella is deservingly the bodybuilder and no not anybody in Malta but young Chris and I, I back him all the way